Today we are looking at all of my ecospheres, terraria and other projects. The ecosphere on the left is actually the very first ecosphere I made. I made that one on the 10th of December 2017. So it's 10 months old already and still alive. It has seen a lot of changes and this is its current state. The ecosphere on the right is the planted ecosphere which I made two weeks later on the 24th of December. I made it in the exact same way as the other ecosphere except in this one I added Valisneria plants from my aquarium. I tried to do everything exactly the same in both ecospheres except for the plants to set up an experiment. I wanted to know if plants made that much of a difference in an ecosphere. The natural ecosphere has a lot of algae, both string algae and algae on the glass, and it's filled with tons of different crustaceans, worms and snails. The planted ecosphere has a lot of plants, obviously, but it has a smaller biodiversity and Probably because of that, the bigger plants are starting to die. In the end, I think there are just too much variables to draw a conclusion about whether or not plants make a difference. So, those are the first two ecospheres I made. Then I made the natural saltwater ecosphere on the 30th of December 2017. For a long time, this was my most popular video. I'm glad it isn't anymore, because to be honest, really nothing exciting happened. When I had made it, I did see a few small crustaceans, but they were really small and at that time I didn't have a macro lens. So I had no way to prove that there was indeed life in the ecosphere. A few months later, I thought I had seen a worm, but I'm starting to doubt my sanity. There is quite some algae in this jar, in particular on the glass of the jar. But as you can see, it is starting to flake off, which are the skins you're seeing. There's without a doubt lots of microscopical life in this ecosphere. To be honest, I am quite surprised that there aren't any visible animals in the water, but that may have to do with the time of year I made this closed ecosystem in. So, that's the third ecosphere I made. Then, I made my first native eternal terrarium. On the 2nd of January, if I remembered correctly. I started out with a lot of weeds, which I found. I figured these would do well in a closed terrarium, since they survive pretty much anywhere anyway. This terrarium was doing great for a month, but then some plants started to rot because there was way too much water in the system. So I opened it up to let the water evaporate. But it was already too late. Most plants died. All that's left now is fungus, algae and dead plants, which just sit there, indicating a lack of decomposers. Here's a project many of you don't know about or have forgotten about, the moss jar. Late December I was taking a walk and I saw this beautiful hair cap moss. And I wanted to take it with me for a future project. I put it in a jar with some water. I didn't use it, but the moss survived for months in the jar. Some parts are still alive now, after 10 months. This is the most recent ecosphere I made, or should I say, ecospheres. This is the ecosphere inside of another ecosphere, which I made exactly one month ago, as a 1 slash 2 slash 3 slash 4000 subscriber special. Unfortunately, the inside of the outer ecosphere, as well as the outside and probably the inside of the inner ecosphere, is covered with algae which makes it very hard to look inside. The inside of the inner ecosphere is pretty much invisible. 
The algae make it very hard for light to get into the ecospheres, which can't be good for the systems. So it will be very interesting to see how that will unfold. Now we get to the big ones. This is the huge two and a half gallon spring ecosphere, which I made on the 2nd of June, after the hottest May in centuries in the Netherlands. It was and still is completely filled with life. There's a lot of larger animals in here as well. It's full of aquatic isopods, bladder snails, water mites, planaria, and countless of crustaceans, worms and other animals. This is still one of my favorites. The cabomba I put in there are starting to die now though, but the velisneria are doing fine. Here we have another 2.5 gallon or 10 liter ecosphere. By far the most popular ecosphere I've made, the secosphere, also known as natural saltwater ecosphere. I made this one on the 1st of August 2018 and closed it off on the 2nd. And it is still doing very well. A lot of algae is growing. Some of the solidified algae are growing a lot as well. And there's huge amounts of animals throughout the entire ecosystem. But I have not seen the crab for over a week, which usually means bad news. This fairy crab has done that before, and after a week it suddenly showed up again, like nothing happened. But I'm not sure he'll do that this time. I haven't seen a dead crab either, so that's good, I guess. Other than that, this ecosphere is doing just fine. Now for two and a half months. One of the other big inhabitants of this closed ecosystem is very alive. I almost forgot about this one, the mini ecosphere. I made this little one on the 15th of March. It has been doing surprisingly well for such a tiny little ecosystem. The ostracods and the grass live in perfect harmony together. I think. I mean, I don't speak their language. Anyway, the ecosphere is doing good. What we have here is a project of mine that I have never talked about before, but you've probably seen it in the background of some of my other videos. I don't really remember when I started this project. Oh wait, I do! It started when I put the crustaceans I had left from building the mini ecosphere in this 10 liter jar filled with tap water. So it all started with just ostracods and copepods. And worms, apparently. And I just wanted to see what would happen. Then I got a whole lot of bladder snails from the pet store, which I put in here. Again, just to see what would happen. And they never stopped reproducing, as you might have guessed. Oh look, a copper pot. Then I added some hair algae, but that got out of hand really fast, so I trimmed it a few days ago. Then I added 5 cherry shrimp, just to see what would happen. And they're actually doing really well in this not so closed ecosystem. Just yesterday I added a lot of cabomba trimmings just to see what would happen. So, this is my ongoing project where I just see what happens. And then there's the ants. Progress is really slow, but the amount of workers is slowly growing, which is good to see. I don't have that much more to say about it. 
So those are all the Ecospheres, Terraria and other projects that I currently still have. I'm sorry if this video got a bit too long. I will put links to all these projects in the description. Thanks for watching.